Pedagogy of Physical Science B.Ed. Syllabus, Second Semester. The question is, write various steps of scientific method. Now, what is the meaning of scientific method? Scientific method is the procedure adopted by scientists in their invest investigation. The scientific method is a systematic and orderly method of solving problems. Any problem has to be solved systematically, orderly, and to get a definite result. Scientific method consists of systematic observation, classification, and interpretation of data, says Lundberg. Importance of scientific method Scientific method attempts to minimize the influence of bias or prejudice in the experimenter. It provides an objective, standardized approach to conducting experiments and in doing so improves their results. Using the scientific method regularly will teach the student to look at all the evidence before making a statement of fact which makes it an integral part of science education. This method teaches the student to analyze and process the information he is receiving. It trains the brain to logically examine and process all the information it receives. We can also present the scientific method, the steps of it in this format. We need to gather information, form hypothesis, test hypothesis, analyze data, interpret the data, publish the results, retest, define the question. Now the steps of scientific method. First of all, we need to sense the problem. The problem may be difficult. We may also feel the problem only when we get enrolled in it and teacher should also make students involved in the scientific problem. Next, defining the problem. Now students will define the problem in a concise, definite and clear language. There should be some keywords in the definition and this may be assisted by the teacher who will assist them in defining such a problem. Next, we analyze the problem. Meaningful breakdown of the problem and its causes can lead to its solution. Analysis of the problem would help to collect the relevant data evidence upon the problem. We need to give them some analysis where they can break down the problem and solve it. Next, collecting the data. Relevant details are collected from experts, reference books, or from first-hand experience. We need to collect the data from the experts, from the books from the library, the reference books, and also the experience that which we have in the previous classes or the previous knowledge of the particular problem. Next, we interpret data. After collecting data, it have to be critically examined with respect to relevance, appropriateness, clarity, etc. So, collecting data need to be interpreted and it has to be critically examined. We need to see the relevance of it, appropriateness and also the clarity. Formulation of hypothesis. Through analysis, synthesis, logical inference, several prob probable solutions are arrived at. We arrive at these solutions by analyzing or synthesizing or having the logical inference. Testing hypothesis. We find out the bearings of the hypothesis. The hypothesis are scrutinized using actual testing or logical reasoning. If the implications agree with the observed facts, they are accepted, others are rejected. Confirmation and generalization through experiments. The tested hypothesis, if accepted, leads to the conclusion to be formed. Generalizations can be made if similar sets of experiments also show the same results. Let's take an example for scientific method, that is failure to toast. First, we make an observation. Our observation is here we have a raw bread. The toaster won't toast. Let's see one. 
let's ask a question my question would be why won't my toaster toast what could be the reason for the toaster not to be propose a hypothesis hypothesis is maybe the outlet is broken next thing make predictions prediction is if i plug the toaster into a different outlet then it will toast the bread which means maybe the plug is not working test the predictions now for the testing of the prediction we plug the toaster into a different outlet and try again the result will be my bread is toast the result will be my bread toast which means the hypothesis is supported if bread is still won't toasted then the hypothesis is not supported so the iteration time will be what is actually wrong with that outlet and in this case maybe there is a broken wire in the toaster so it says this that if the bread has toasted here which means there is some problem with the outlet and if the bread has not toasted which means there is a problem with the toaster itself